All right, 11 secrets that millionaires know that everybody else in the world is clueless on. Let me reveal what those are for you. You know, I love books. It's a good book. Really good book. Good book. All these books about, you know, how to make more money, financial freedom, wealth, and all that. And uh, one of the most common questions I get is like, Ty, you know, what is it? If you had a list, like here, like if I would put down 11 secrets, what would they be? And I've thought through those long and hard. Um, you know, the first time you make a million, you it causes you refl to reflect. And you'll go, what the heck happened? Was it luck? You know, I was just reading a book on this book on the founding of Twitter. You know, was it luck? Is it some people have uh, more access and know the right people? And there's some truth to all of that. But for you and I, uh, if you want to create true wealth, I think there are definite secrets that most people don't know. And it's not secrets in like a conspiracy theory, Illuminati kind of way. It's just not stuff. Think about back at your school, what you learn. You never learn the stuff that you really need to know. So uh, let me try to lay out a few of them. I don't know if I can write all 11 on the board here. I want to make a short video. One, Vryn. That's a term, V-R-I-N, your Vryn score. This is a huge predictor of uh, your wealth. I mean, without a doubt, you know, these are things, now I dropped out of college, but uh, if you go to Harvard, if you get an MBA, you'll learn about this. Now, most people though in the world, maybe you're like me, you know, I was broke sleeping on a couch or you come from, you know, not a very nice place, you born in the, what do they call it? The lower, uh, the lower class. You know, I was born to a single mom. Um, wasn't born with a sil silver spoon in my mouth. And this Vryn score is something that I didn't learn for, you know, until I was in my 20s. But once I knew it, it made all the difference in the world. And so you got to know your Vryn score, you know, which is basically value, uh, rare, inimitability, and non-substitution. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna explain all those, but I wanna just give you the high level one and then I'll show you how you can learn all of them if you wanna know. Uh, number two, there's a wealth index. A guy did a very famous study and wrote a book called The Millionaire Next Door where he studied self-made millionaires across the United States. And his conclusion, or one of his conclusions, was that um, you can look at people's wealth index, so you basically take your age all right, it's a factor of your age, your net worth, meaning how much money you have in your bank account and all the things you own minus your debts. And it needs to be at a certain level of the ratio. Okay, so it's not an absolute number. So you can have a high wealth index, even if you only have make, you know, 2000 bucks a month, even if you only have 500 bucks in the bank account. Wealth index is an index of how well you accumulate. And for example, he talks about in that book that doctors who traditionally, I think the average doctor in America makes like $115,000 a year. So high income, okay, doctors, but doctors are notorious for having a low wealth index score for various reasons. One of them is when you're a doctor, you gotta kind of look like you're a doctor, so they have a lot of expenses. So they have a, their wealth index uh, measures them, the average doctor to have below average accumulation habits. So you got to accumulate. It's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. I got a friend who makes, who made $120 million last year, okay? And he, he has a very high wealth index. He kept like $90 million. This is a young guy, like in his 30s, who also self-made, didn't inherit the money, didn't have a trust fund, any of that stuff. So your wealth index, that's, you know, 11 secrets, millionaires know. Some millionaires don't know it, but the good ones do. Number three. Uh, and I could go a lot of different directions with this one, um, but stacking, the ability to stack trends. So I call this trend stacking or stacking the trends. So most people, you know, they go, Ty, I'm gonna do big things, whether they're musicians, entrepreneurs, uh, movie, you know, filmmakers, actors here in Hollywood, like whatever the thing is, they're like, I got a good idea and there's a trend and look, this is how I'm gonna make a million dollars, how I'm gonna make a billion dollars. but. It's not as simple as just taking one idea because one simple trend, let's say you catch a trend like 
social networks. That's been a trend in the last five or 10 years, right? Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. Now you got new ones like uh, Meerkat and you got Periscope and all these new constantly evolving social networks. So for you to just have an idea of a social network, it's not a trend, it's only one trend and you must stack multiple trends. So there's a way to do this. Uh, I don't know if I, I, yeah, I'll show you how you can do this a little bit later. Um, I'm not gonna do this in this video, but it's powerful, man. And you look at somebody, I'll give you an example, um, Snapchat. So Snapchat is not just one trend. Evan Spiegel, who's the youngest billionaire in history, okay, the youngest self-made, he made it before he was 23, uh, he did not just go, I'm gonna make a social media app, like social media apps, that's not, a, that's not trend stacking. He tracked multiple trends, so he took like four. So one stand, uh, trend was obviously social networking, another one was apps, the third one was selfies. See, that's a trend. People forgot that selfie, you know, you see selfies made fun of a lot. Kim Kardashian did a selfie book. I actually have it here somewhere. Selfie book. But, and people laugh at that, but I learned from my mentors. And by the way, that's where I learned these secrets. I wasn't born knowing these. My mentors are like, no, don't laugh at these things. You might not agree with everything, but pay attention. So you pay attention. And Evan uh, Spiegel, who's the founder of Snapchat, he paid attention to selfies. Then the fourth trend that he stacked was privacy. See, you don't want to post all your pictures. See, Instagram was a three trend stack. But Snapchat took those three uh, trends of, of selfie social networking apps and added a fourth one, which was privacy. You could post the picture on Snapchat and boom, 10 seconds later, it disappeared. And that created tremendous wealth. By the way, well, this one secret alone uh, is not a secret of a millionaire. That's a secret of billionaires. We can go to another level if we want to in this talk, but I figured I'd start with millionaires because that feels overwhelming. And even if you don't want to be a millionaire, you still want to learn the principles of, million, uh, of millionaires. Even if you only want to be financially free and, you know, make 75 grand a year and just live, you know, have all your bills taken care of and not have that stress, whatever your number is. Now, the fourth one is what I call nudist Buddhist. Okay, I learned this one from Alan Nation. Excuse my horrible handwriting, but that's supposed to say nudist Buddhist. And uh, Alan Nation, one of my mentors, he said, Ty, uh, you can't be too ahead of your time. You can't be perceived as too weird. He said, look, if you have a friend and you pop in and say, hey man, I've decided I'm a nudist. Your friend will be like, you know what? That's a little weird but you're my friend, I'm gonna give you that. And he said, you can tell your other friends that you're a Buddhist. And they'll be like, ah, you know, I don't know much about Buddhism, a little weird, but I'll still be your friend. But he said, you can't be a nudist Buddhist, it's too weird. And so a lot of people, many people have tried to, make, to do a big thing, a new idea, a new business, new patent, a new invention, and they're ahead of their time or they present it in too weird of a way. You know, the story of Groupon, which is another amazing story of people going rags to riches. Uh, the founders, I think it was three or four of them that started um, Groupon. They said that people had tried it before them, but it was perceived as too weird. And so Groupon had this like, you know, these coupons, you get 90% off, whatever, haircuts and massages and all this stuff. Well, Groupon took it and packaged it up in such a way that a quote unquote weird idea, virtual couponing, well, it became very mainstream. So they didn't violate the nudist Buddhist rule. So these are four, there's 11. And each of these I could talk about for a long time. Uh, I don't wanna bore you with everything right now, but I will tell you, if you're watching this, um, I'm gonna do, I get asked about these and the other seven so much that uh, I decided I was gonna just dedicate a talk so uh, there should be a link here somewhere where you can click above here and it's a little link and you can register. It's a completely free talk, don't worry. There's no cost to it. Um, and I'm gonna explain each of these more in depth and the other seven, okay? Cause I wanna keep this video short. How long has this one been? This is like five minutes or something, five or 10 minutes. So I wanna keep this one short cause modern world people have, you know, ADD and maybe you're watching this when you're busy and you got other things to do. So if you click the link, it'll give you a time you can register um, and it's online. So you can be in any country in the world, you have access you know, to the internet, you can watch this. So it's my free talk explaining this, the 11 secrets that millionaires 
know, revealed, and how you can use them to create wealth and financial freedom. Whether or not you want to be a millionaire, it's for entrepreneurs, it's for people who are, you know, like I was, you're completely in the gutter. It could be you've got no, uh, you know, you're in debt from college debt or credit card debt. I read the average American's like 240,000 in debt if you count mortgages. And so there's debt out there. These secrets work and I'm telling you, and these aren't random secrets. You see these secrets being used by the smartest people in the world over and over. It's just that, you know, this is the kind of stuff that millionaires teach their kids. But if you're like me and you weren't the, the son or daughter of a millionaire, you didn't have anyone to teach you this. So I, I went out, I traveled to, you know, I've been to about 50 plus countries trying to find mentors. I found five of them and uh, they're the ones who taught me all this stuff. So click the link, it's either above or below. I can never tell where it's gonna be. Click the link, you, it'll take you to my website and there's just a register. Uh, it's completely free. And then uh, you'll see the exact time. We'll translate it into your time zone, wherever you are in the world. And then just show up. Uh, you can watch it on your phone. You can watch it on your computer. And I'll be going in depth. And I'm telling you, if it, these two right here, number one and number three, are so powerful. I could literally just stop there. But um, the other ones are important too. And when you blend them all together, the you know they call that synergy an exponential effect. Like one of these you understand, it'll have a good effect on your bottom line, your bank account. Two of them together, one plus one is more than two. That's what synergy is, you know. These two together will not just double your understanding, they might triple it. And when you add 11 together, it's mind-blowing. And so, you know, this book right here, Self-Made Billionaire Effect, it's one of the most exhaustive and well-done scientific studies of self-made billionaires and uh, it's interesting. Their final conclusion in the book, I don't wanna spoil the book if you haven't read it, it's not my book by the way, but uh, is that they've isolated for luck, for access to resources, to being born in a better place, to being healthier, to what country you're born in, and, and the, their conclusion in that it, is that it's habits of the mind that made these people billionaire. Just like Arnold Schwarzenegger what had like habits for his body to become, you know, one of the top bodybuilders in the world, there's habits of the mind. And that's as simple as what you know. Like Warren Buffett says, and I always quote, the more you learn, the more you earn. So click the link here, show up, learn stuff. Uh, you will earn more, it's free. Um, and so yeah, click the link and I will see you. It's uh, on the talk. You can even ask me questions on the talk, you know, if you wanna chat. There's chat and stuff and you can ask while I'm talking. So click the link, register, and we'll be talking about 11 secrets that millionaires know revealed and how you can use them in your life. And, and it'll change your life the day you watch it. So uh, these things, by the way, forgot to add, last time I did one, the last two times I've done these, it has crashed the servers. Literally, I'm not making that up. I'm like, I had to, we're in we had to like change the architecture of our website to handle how many people come. So I kind of limit how many people can get on this. So make sure you don't procrastinate. Click the link, it's free. You know, I always tell people, anytime you have a chance for something and it's free, there's no downside, do it immediately. So check it out. We'll be talking on Brin, Wealth Index, Accumulation Score, Stacking Multiple Trends, Nudist Buddhist, and lots of other stuff, seven more things uh, at the minimum. All right, so click the link and I will see you on my talk. Uh, we'll be talking all these in depth, all right? Cool. Oh, and subscribe to my channel. I'm always supposed to add that. My video guys say to do that. All right, talk to you soon.